Ian, welcome to the football club. Um, so how does it feel to be the, the new manager of the Billy Bean? Well, I'm delighted, yeah. I mean, I've, I've not been manager for a number of months now, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased, you know. So um, we're getting used to things. I mean, I don't know the players' names yet, so uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a process, but the process needs to be pretty speedy because it'll be the night we're in the league. Uh, just on that then, it has been a very tough season for the club on and off the field. What was it that attracted you to the role with, obviously, your significant experience and, and success? Well, I, mean, I must admit, I do like a challenge and, you know, it's uh, it, the last couple of clubs I was at, I took over when they were really, really struggling. The only problem here is that, you know, you know we, we need to go forward really quickly. There's, you can't take a, back, a, a step back and then go forward. You need to just go forward, which makes it a little bit harder. But it's a real challenge, and you know, and you know, Clyde, with all due respect, to a lot of the other clubs, they, they, they have been a name in Scottish football for a number of years. I, rem I remember, um, you know, my really good Falkirk team, the, the team that beat us, and we, we won the championship that year. The team that beat us, it was Clyde when I was there, uh, two 0 with us at Broadwood. So. You know, they are a significant football club, but obviously things need to change and it's my job to try and change that and off the field, we'll see how that goes as well. You mentioned obviously your, your past, Clyde fans will be familiar with the, how you like your teams to set out, but what can Clyde fans expect from your Clyde team? Well, first of all, we, we need to work, you know, like his name, there's no magic wand, but we need to work really, really hard. And I, I, you know, I think that's, I don't think I'm saying that because it's League Two. I'd be saying the same thing if it was the Premier League, if it was Championship and League One. I do like to play a certain way, but I do, certainly do not want to try and make players do things that they're not capable of doing. Ultimately, the situation our football club is in now is you need to win football matches to get away from the position we're in now. So we want to try and play winning football, and that could come in many guises. As far as then your kind of short to medium term ambitions and what you're looking to achieve, then is it just first and foremost get some results on the board and, and see where that takes us, takes us this year? Yeah, I mean, I think I guess I've worked with the players there. It was a very short meeting because time's precious. I'll build on that in the, in the coming weeks. You know, my only ambition right now, my only thought is he's five and to try and win a football match. And I think that immediately brings a little bit of confidence. Then win another one and you're even more confident. All of a sudden things change. And I've, you know, I've been doing it so long that I see things changing all the time. And that's hopefully the same for us. Just very quickly then, Ian, just to let you go and, and get on with training. You just have a quick message then for the Clyde fans ahead of the, the big game on Saturday then. Well, stick together, get behind the players. Um, get behind the club. I think in Clyde's long and pretty prestigious history, this is a pretty important time. So everybody needs to be together on it, and uh, hopefully we can give them something to be to be cheery about starting up.